Hello everyone, I'm Pieter de Klerk and I'm the CTO of Wingu. In this video, I will give a walkthrough of the new features in Wingu 3.2. But first of all, some history. Last year, we released version 3.0, which was a huge step forward regarding the overall user experience. Next to that, we introduced multi-domain support for even better integration. In May this year, we released version 3.1 which allows a Wingu to be deployed and administered in a multi-tenant setup. And as of this release, we also support smart card redirection. Today, I'm proud to announce a Wingu 3.2. This release has much better support for single sign-on towards SaaS services. Not only have we extended our built-in connectors with popular services, but have we integrated with Microsoft Azure Active Directory and Okta to support over more than 4,000 SaaS services. At the same time, we have created another Azure Marketplace solution, which we call a Wingu All-in-One solution. This allows a full deployment end-to-end -end in less than one hour. Lastly, we have further simplified our installer, making it less error-prone and 50% quicker. Let's take a look at the extended SaaS single sign-on. We have the built-in connectors to the popular SaaS services. These come out of the box and without any extra license needed. Next to that, we are really proud to announce that we have a full integration with Windows Azure Active Directory and Okta. These services provide us with an integration of more than 4,000 SaaS services. So let me give you a small overview on how this is configured and how it works within Owingo. Here I have a environment which is configured as the Spider-Man environment and I will log on as an administrator, allowing me to show you the system management console where all the configuration is done. Let me start the console. Okay, you can see that there are multiple domains configured on this environment. And the reason I'm showing you this is because the SaaS services can be configured on a domain level and on a user level. So we have, have a look at the user connector. It's loading. You can see here a, a list of SaaS services which come out of the box. So you can see the Office 365 and the Google Apps and many more. On top, we have the identity provider category, which you should configure towards your Wingo environment with your own certificates and private keys. This is very well documented on how this should be configured. So on this domain, we can see that there is a single sign-on configured only for the Google Apps. So this means that if I go to the applications, I can see that the admin has created a single sign-on category and you see all various Google Apps applications right here. So I can just click them and I have the single sign-on towards this service. Let me now log on to the same environment but as the Superman domain and I will log on as my alter ego Sam Lovely. So in the applications right here you can see I have the Office 365 fully configured so I can now single sign on towards Microsoft Excel online. So what happens is I'm, I'm redirected a couple of times and then I'm logged on as the user Sam Lovely on the SaaS services. So without end user having to um, enter his credentials more and more. On this environment I have another application configured which is Salesforce and that will do the authentication through Azure. So this is one of the integrations we've done through Azure. So I just click on the Salesforce I have to choose my account without having to enter the password and then it will automatically redirect and log on to the Salesforce application, which you can see here, Sam Lovely is again um, logged on to the Salesforce application. If I have a look at the system management console, you will see that for the staging environment, which is my Superman domain, you can see that here the Azure AD and Office 365 has been enabled and the other services haven't. So this is actually the way we configure the SaaS applications um, within our Wingu. Right now, what we have in our dashboard is an overview of all different SaaS services, which allow you to have a clean overview on how your full environment is used. So previously, we already had quite an overview of the legacy applications, and now this is extended with all SaaS applications, so you can see what user access to what application. The second big part we will announce today is actually the Wingo all-in-one in the Azure Marketplace. So we already had one application in the Marketplace which allowed you to deploy your appliance for a hybrid or a cloud deployment. But next to that, we've created the all-in-one solution. And this solution will actually create a full Greenfield install of Wingo. So it will deploy in a Wingo appliance 
but it will um, deploy and provision all needed Windows services in the backend as well. So it will deploy a domain controller, an application server, etc. Actually, everything you need. That combined with the fact that a Wingo right now out of the box works for two concurrent users built in allows for a smooth rollout and testing. You just buy one solution in the marketplace and you can test everything end to end. Let me give you a small overview of how this works, but it's, it's really easy. Okay, so here I'm at the Azure portal. I will go to the marketplace and I will just search for the Wingo solution, the all in one solution. Let me click this one. Some explanation on what the solution does, but we will create it. As you can see, there are actually only four steps which need to be uh, filled in. So, the only thing which is really obligated is a resource group. That's the group on Azure where all the uh, virtual machines will be provisioned. So, I will call this resource group My Demo and I will host it in Western Europe since that's the closest to our location. If that part is done. Now I need to fill in an admin username. This is the username which is used to log on to the Awingo environment prior to configuring an Active Directory. So that's the built-in admin. So I will just call this one admin. I will set a password, a strong password. There is validation. Then you need to fill in an email address. So I will fill in my own. Uh, the domain name I want to be um, solution to be deployed against, so I will call this a wingu.local, but you can choose anything you want. And as a prefix, I will prefix it with Maya Wingu. So this a Wingu solution will be available from myawingu.awingu.local. Here you can choose the amount of application service you want to be you want to deploy. So I will take one for now because it's just a demo, but you can deploy a whole farm if you want. We have here the Awingo recovery password, which is really important. You should uh, write this down and put it in a vault for in case you need it. Okay, so now it's doing some validations and then you will get the OK button where you can actually buy the solution. And that's all there is to do. So once you deploy OK, you will have a fully functional Greenfield installation where you can already start your um, tests on or start your solution on. So this was actually the part of the all-in-one uh, deployment. Next to that, I can really quickly show you the installer, which became really easy and fast. So you have the EULA, which you need to um, read uh, carefully and then accept it. You fill in the username. This actually corresponds to the same username we uh, had to enter in the all-in-one deployment. So I just call it admin again with a strong password. You press next never save it. You should uh, here add one valid DNS server, which is typically the domain controller. So in our case, I will press this one. And for an NTP server, I will take the DNS of the same domain controller. But this can be chosen at your own will. The repo server URL is pre-filled in. And you have the option to enable the HTTP proxy. This is in case your setup needs a forward HTTP proxy to access our repo server. Next step is actually just pressing next and it will automatically validate the um, things you've entered to see that nothing is wrong so the installation can proceed. In case you want, you can configure an external database here, typically for high availability purposes or for really large environments. Once this is done, you can just press next, you get an overview and you can finish. So this is how easy it is to set up in a Wingo environment. So to summarize, in the Wingo 3.2, we have a couple of nice features. So we have the SaaS, uh, SaaS connection, which is really extended with um, our own list and our partnerships with Microsoft Azure AD and Okta. Next to that, we have the Awingo all-in-one on the Azure Marketplace, which allows for a really quick provisioning of a full environment. And so you can get up and running in a less than one hour. And we have the simplification of the installer, so it becomes really easy and really fast to deploy. We have reached the end of this introduction to version 3.2. Thank you for your attention and stay tuned for more new things in the future.